Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Basement Card Collector. Today is going to be a TTM return video, my 29th TTM return episode. Today's uh, video will only contain one return, one lonely return from the TTM machine. I've sent out, not lately, I should probably get working on my next, next batch of uh, letters to send out. I was just curious, uh, I have... I went back and counted on my record sheet. I have 28 TTMs still out, and some are recent, some are long ago, several, several months back. And you just never know. Sometimes you get a good stuffed mailbox, and sometimes you get just one little guy. And this week, um, our card saver looks like Dan Vout, AFC Pro Bowl 1984 tops. He's a great TTMer, Hall of Famer. And for TTM, um, you can't really beat Dan Fouts. He seems to sign all his things very quickly. And this is just a cool one. Love that old helmet. Love the old Charger uniforms, period. But Dan Fouts, so if you're just new to the TTM world, it stands for Through the Mail Autographs. Find our addresses. Send out cards, photos to athletes and celebrities. And you just check the mail. You check the mail, hoping to get one of these little envelopes back. And so for our only return this week... Let's check out who we have coming. Actually, he's been there. You can kind of see that October 4th. So it's been sitting on my stand here, just waiting for others to join it. Looks like he's going to be all alone. Let's see who we have in um, our 29th TTM return video. Let's take a peek. Coming out of West Palm Beach, Florida see what we have wow wow hall of famer newly newly uh christened hall of famer larry walker just checking my records over here i sent larry walker back on july 21st actually found a whole mess of his don russ I sent him a 90 Donruss, a 90 Tops, and he can see he signed the upper deck. Oh, my word, that looks amazing. Two Jason, swing hard, Larry Walker, 2020. And just, I love looking at the stats on, uh, on the back of these guys when they're youngsters. Look at that. Hall of Famer, he has eight hits. Eight out of 47. Not many folks probably put him on the Hall of Fame radar right then. So I sent three. He kept two, and I usually do that. Um, just say, hey, would you like to keep one? Keep two if you like. It looks like he took me up on that. Um, wow. Hello, Larry Walker. And he was an MVP for the Rockies. I just want to look at that one more time. Those sweet old school expo uniforms. Um, wow. I think that's like my first Hall of Fame inscription in the baseball. I just got back a Walter Jones from the NFL Hall of Fame. Wow, so July 21st, so if you're sending to Larry Walker, he had a huge, a huge um, influx of people, it looked like on the sports card forum, sending his way, um, but Hall of Famer, rookie card, Larry Walker, wow, thank you, and the inscription was just an extra, doesn't have to do that, and those TTM guys that do this for free, I mean, how cool is that? This guy's going into, can uh, into, can into Cooperstown, Baseball Hall of Famer, and he inscribed Wrote a couple inscriptions on this card uh, to me, which I love that, in the Hall of Fame 2020. So um, that's going to wrap up our 29th TTM episode. If you like channel, if you like cards like this, if you like TTMs, um, you can see in the back I have a Scott Hamilton, and then on the other side with Dan Jansen. So I've been trying to get uh, several Olympic heroes. I have several out still, but several have come back. Um, Go back and check out some of my old videos if you like. I like um, TTMs and set building and all those other good things. But um, this will conclude our 29th TTM video. And we will see you next time.